Welcome back to the Sci TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest in the world of civic science. This week, we've got a civic science career map, communicating complexity symposium, and more, so be sure to watch until the very end. How do you get started in a civic science career? The Civic Science Fellows have announced a Civic Science Career Roadmap. This thorough report gives career advice, strategies on how to land opportunities, and guidance on how to wayfind your career path. This report was developed by the Civic Science Fellows Network, which places early career leaders across industries to build bridges between science and society. These fellows have pooled their knowledge and resources to create this report. Click the link in the description below to access the full report. The Communicating Complexity Symposium by University of Nebraska-Lincoln will take place over Zoom on November 16th from 10 to 4 p.m. Central. This event will focus on developing science communication strategies that acknowledge and contextualize complexity rather than just overcoming it. Topics are going to include how to address uncertainty, and level of technical detail necessary to include when communicating problems like climate change. There's a variety of expert panelists, so register at the link in this description below to attend. Do you trust scientists? Well, it depends who you ask. A new paper by the Center for Science Futures suggests we need to rethink the framework around which we engage with science and the public. To build trust and engage with science in a new way, trusted by the public, a new science policy framework that engages with communities is necessary, according to this paper. To start, it's all about building partnerships and opportunities for dialogue and participation. Thank you very much to the SciCommer newsletter for sharing. The National Academy of Science announced the 2023 Eric and Wendy Schmidt Awards for Excellence in Science Communication. These cash prizes were awarded to nine scientists, nine journalists, and six science communicators for connecting the public with science and translating them into accessible, award-winning stories. Congratulations to the fellows, and see the full list in the link in the description below. This has been the Sci TV News Show. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.